Located in Pacific Beach, San Diego, there is a place crushing its competition, and we're going to see how they're going to crush our taste buds and everyone else's. Today on... Brunches! Bakeries and and bistros. Bistros! Hi guys, thanks for coming in today. My name is Phil. This is Jake. We're here at Crush in Pacific Beach, three blocks away from the beach in downtown PB. We're serving amazing brunch, happy hour, and dinner. We're going to be showing you guys a few different things off our brunch and dinner menu today. We have our signature mimosa flight, which we serve seven days a week for brunch and dinner. We have our crab cake benedict, which we serve every day on our brunch menu. We have our PB barbecue sliders, which we serve on our brunch and dinner menu. And we have our penny alla vodka, which we serve on our dinner menu. So we're here at Crushed in Pacific Beach in San Diego, California. I'm here with Jake, and they're known for their mimosa flights here. Do you think you could describe to me which ones we're trying here today, Jake? Uh, yeah, so we have three different kinds here. This one right here is the summertime pear. It's a white pear infused with thyme. This is our Lavender Love, which is definitely the most popular mimosa. Um, And this right here is the Rosewater Mimosa. It's the newest addition to the team. All right. So this is the Summertime Mimosa. It has nodes of pear flavoring in it, as well as the thyme, just to be like the garnish on top. So kind of a play on words, summertime, perfect for the summer. So how did you guys come up with the Lavender Love? Uh, so we really wanted to create something unique, something that you can't really find anywhere else. Um, so we found this lavender flavoring and we infused it with lemons and it turned into that and people fell in love with it. So yeah, lavender is saw- pretty popular. It's like everywhere. Yeah. So, so Lavender Love. Lavender- This is the rose water mimosa and it has that nice like floral flavoring as well as the accents of lemon. It has that nice pink light color to it which I love. So give me some of your input on this. So we really wanted to make people feel like they were at a spa and give them that whole relaxing experience. So we took something that was a little sweet, something that's a little floral and we came up with the rose water mimosa. Oh yeah. Definitely relaxing. (laughs) These are our cinnamon roll pancakes. Awesome. Okay. And so how do people normally like eat the cinnamon roll pancakes? Do Uh, they pick it up like burrito? Like what do they? (laughs) (laughs) So usually you eat it with some syrup. like cream cheese glaze over the top of it coated with that cinnamon powdered sugar and just the fact that the presentation and it's in a, a, like rolls I feel like it doesn't make it as messy when you eat it so how'd you guys come up with this concept of cinnamon rolls um, well one of the most you know one of people's most favorite dishes are cinnamon rolls so we figured we take our pancakes and 
take a twist on it and make cinnamon roll pancakes with the cinnamon and brown sugar right. filling on the inside. Uh, it balances each other off pretty nicely with the cream cheese glaze. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell just like, you know, the presentation and the taste itself. I wouldn't go wrong with these. I would highly recommend getting this when you come to Crush. Highly recommend. <laughs> All right, next we have our Crab Cake Benedict. Awesome. Love the presentation. like about this crab cake benedict is just all the texture of flavors in there. You got the crab cake, the spinach, the focaccia bread underneath, paired on top with the poached egg, paprika. You just have a whole overwhelming amount of flavors. So how do you guys pair all these flavors? What pairs well with this? Um, so I'd have to recommend uh, a beer flight with that. Um, we have the Stone Tangerine Express. Okay. It's packed with whole pineapple and tangerine. I think that definitely complements the fresh crab and the crab cake benny. All right. So here we got the Stone Tangerine Express. I totally agree with Jake's opinion on this. It's nice and it's light. If you really like beer, highly recommend getting this as well with the crab cake benedict. Now we have our signature PB barbecue sliders, PB from Pacific Beach. included in these sliders? Um, so it starts with the house-made beef patty. Uh, we blend it with bacon to kind of give it the saltiness and then the barbecue sauce is a little bit sweet. You get the crispy onion rings and then you get a little spicy kick from the red jalapeno. Uh, so the perfect pairing for the PB barbecue sliders is the Iron Fire Social Distortion IPA. Nice. It's a double IPA, it's a big enough IPA to kind of complement the bold flavors of the sliders. Yeah, and I mean, I can really taste that kick when you take a good bite out of it, right when you get to the center of it. If you like a little bit of a kick and you're not afraid of spiciness, highly recommend getting these. And it pairs really well, that bacon flavor, pretty strong. So now we have our penne a la vodka pasta. You have the penne noodles, with a creamy vodka sauce and Italian sausages. It's got a little kick to it from some red pepper. And you see the fresh Parmesan and basil on top, which adds a nice touch. So I really taste that like nice creamy sauce as well as that kick that Jake talked about. It pairs really well with the Parmesan cheese and basil, topped off with these nice pieces of bread as well. So if you want to dunk the bread right into the sauce, highly recommend that. What would really pair well with this dish all together? This is Alaskan Bruin, their 30th anniversary Imperial Stout, but it has a little sweetness from the malts that will pair perfectly with the spiciness of the sauce. a richer, deeper flavor to it. Um, I think it pairs really nicely to kind of balance the creaminess of the sauce. The spice kind of complements with it as well. I would say it might even calm your mouth down even if you're eating a ton of it and it's really spicy. So the malt goes overall really well to pair with it. Thanks for coming to Crush in Pacific Beach, San Diego, and we'll see you on the next episode of Brunches, Bakeries, and Bistros.